Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. When Denzel Washington, Rami Malek, and Jared Leto all star in the same movie, you hope for a heavy film that packs a punch. Their new film, The Little Things, will have you on edge. It's in theaters and will be streaming on HBO Max January 29th, and I want to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. A grisly true crime is all the rage right now, and while The Little Things isn't based on a true story, it will scratch that itch for those waiting on a new season of your favorite podcast. Denzel Washington suits up as Sheriff Joe Deacon, who heads back to his old stomping grounds in Los Angeles to help catch a serial killer that's still on the loose. His replacement, Jimmy Baxter, played by Rami Malek, isn't too keen on Deacon sticking his nose in the latest killings. But he knows that he needs Deacon's veteran experience if there's any chance of capturing the killer before a seventh victim is found. Now, adding to the complicated web of clues is Jared Leto's Albert Sparma, who checks all the boxes of being a killer. The Little Things is written and directed by John Lee Hancock, who also made Saving Mr. Banks and The Founder. The title is taken from uh, some advice that Washington's character gives to Malik when he says, The Little Things are important. The little things will get you caught. It describes their approach to the work as Deacon, being the veteran that he is, is quiet, unassuming, and stealth in his approach, even if it's not always by the books. Malik's Jimmy Baxter is more of a hothead, who too often looks at the broad, easy big picture. Hancock's take on the serial killer psychological thriller is one that's more focused on the characters and the crimes themselves. He shows quite a bit of restraint in terms of seeing the victims pursued, but not the actual brutal killings. We are also led to believe that something happened in Deacon's checkered past that led him away from the Los Angeles scene. Now, that does get explored, as Hancock makes us think about all the toll that these unsolved murderers and serial killers take on the detectives desperately trying to solve them, and what happens if there is no closure. Washington, Malik, Leto are all three Oscar winners, and they all fit into their roles with ease. I would still claim that Rami Malik to be a young, up-and-coming actor, which fits his character going up against someone of Washington's stature. Both give really solid performances. Now, we're led to believe that Jared Leto's uh, is the prime suspect. He dons a basic mechanic jumpsuit, long greasy hair, and runs his mouth a little too freely. And Leto is eerily creepy, making Sparma a mentally disturbed individual that has you guessing if he's actually the suspect or if he's simply a misdirect latched onto it by a thirsty detective. The Little Things is pretty straightforward in its approach. It's not overly original like Seven or The Sons of the Lambs, but I appreciate that it's a character-driven piece that doesn't rely on showy, bloody crime scenes or hokey twists just to give it some edge. Washington, Malik, and Leto should keep you invested in trying to figure out the whodunit while watching the mind games they play on each other. I'm giving the little things four out of five ticket stubs. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel. i got some other movie reviews as well as my appearances on Twin Cities Live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of The Little Things. It's now on HBO Max and in theaters. This is Paul's trip to the movies.